Hey guys, Dello304 here, and um, this video was requested by BlueBlur444, I believe. Yes. Um, uh, he wanted to see how I sped up the boot time on my Dell Inspiron 14Z. But uh, I'm going to make this video like full blown, and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to do a whole tutorial on how to speed up a new PC once you get it, because sadly, when you get a new PC, you are nowhere near ready to go. So. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually uh, uninstall a lot of the bloatware that comes with the computer. Um, so let's go ahead and uninstall a program. Uninstall a program. And then you got all these programs in here. Now things uh, like things that come with the computer like games and stuff, if you do really don't need those, then you really don't need them. Well, I'm just wondering because, yeah, sorry about that. I'm just wondering if... Somebody's going to interrupt me. Um, anyway, uh, you want to uh, uninstall some like programs. Like I uninstalled like the Dell Doc, and uh, you know stuff like that. I installed like some other kind of things. But like if you, and I un also uninstalled like uh, trial antivirus software and all that other bloatware that comes with the computer. Uh, that'll definitely speed it up. Uh, the next thing I did actually was all from well, you're gonna want to install the programs you want to install, but um. I got uh, a couple tools here, C Cleaner and Defragler. I use both of those, and they're awesome. And then, of course, you just want to... Glare Utilities is also a good one. So, um, yeah, I just have a bunch of programs there. So, um, anyway, the rest of it is pretty much MS Config. Now, this really qualifies for any computer. Uh, you don't, it doesn't need to be new. But uh, you're going to want to go ahead into the Startup tab in the System Configuration. Uh, you're going to want to head and disable all of this stuff in here. And then... Also, services, if you don't need things like, see this BitLocker thing, I don't need that, so I disabled that, and I disabled a couple other things, so, uh, anyway. Then you're going to want to go to the boot tab, and then you're going to want to go ahead and click advanced options. And then you click that, then you go up here to number of processors, you're going to go ahead and check it if it's not checked, then you're going to select two. Um, if you have a dual core processor, or four if you have a quad core processor, and it has to be for actual cores, it cannot be hyper threading. That will that is not stable. So if you have a true dual core CPU like me, then um, set it to two. And then pretty much from there, uh, it's pretty much it. Um, yeah, just and then of course you're gonna want to you know use these two tools and that one down there just to continually clean up the computer. I guess I can go ahead and reboot just to show you the speed. So before it would take about two minutes. But, um, see, the thing is, with this computer, I'm not sure what is wrong, but uh, the boot up itself isn't that slow. It's the login process. It takes forever. I don't know why. Um, I go in, I uh, enter my password, and um, it goes to, like, a black screen for, like, ten seconds. And then, it like, the, the taskbar on the uh, desktop comes up like pretty slowly pretty sluggish then I have to usually have to wait a minute or thirty seconds to a minute after that to get it to go so yeah so we're just waiting for I'll show you what I mean see you know it goes to this black screen for a few seconds I mean see you got a mouse but that's about it and then the taskbar comes up And eventually the desktop will come up. There you go. Eventually the icons will come up. Hello? Icons. There you go. And then I have to wait for the hard drive to churn down. But after that, the computer is fast as a bee. Um, but I don't know why that's so slow. There you go. So um, that's how I sped up the boot time. It used to be worse before. Actually, it used to be a lot worse than that. But um, yeah, so that's how to speed up a new computer. And uh, yeah, so see you later.